one of the most prized things in our society now and in the future is the quality of attention because our world is a, a lot of it is multitasking we multitask and it is a requirement in many cases and there is a big um, big trend how do you multitask effectively? And then there is a big trend, how do you stop multitasking so you can focus on one thing only and do it right? The last time we were doing exercises, the emphasis was for you to learn how to pay attention and observe what's going on. So you can repeat it. You, you learn like your life and death depends on it. So, uh, most of us uh, turn attention when we are told to turn attention. Meaning someone is guiding you in many cases when you're gonna turn the attention. Raise your ears, raise your hands, elongate, then you do it. So uh, it's meaning if you don't hear it, what are you doing? You're waiting for someone else to tell you how to use your attention or uh, worst case scenario daydreaming uh, in our work environment uh, attention pretty much makes a makes a, a difference between a good quality bad quality and eventually rework and rework when you're in a multi-project environment it has a cascading effect I think it's called domino effect right where Rework on one project pushes other projects, other people into different schedules and usually someone have to pay for it either with extra hours or in some cases extra resources and so on. Rework? So, you rework. Work doing it more than once? Oh yeah, what okay. you have to redo. Okay, gotcha. Redo. When it becomes trash, do it again. So uh, it's meaning we have to figure it out how do you train attention where it is very precise uh, and it's switchable where you can switch from one topic one uh, project with uh, different requirements to another project with different requirements at different stages different people uh, different deliverables so uh, it's not taught in school how do you concentrate attention and uh, because you can talk about it that you need to concentrate attention but it doesn't mean that you know how to train that attention like when i was doing martial arts for example uh, in judo or in karate uh, a coach or a trainer uh, or an instructor uh, or your sensei shows you how to do it and he shows it to you once, he shows it to you twice, and then the, the real feedback comes very fast. You're either gonna get thrown and uh, you didn't pay attention how to do it, you, you can create uh, unnecessary damage, right? Or you won't be able to throw uh, someone and the feedback is very fast. It's like this, instantaneous. So paying attention is life and death in that particular case. In many other environments that we are in, paying attention and not getting it right doesn't always have immediate consequence and a person just says, oh shoot, I forgot. Oh shoot, uh, let me do this again, right? So uh, it's meaning the attention is not trained, and it is, it is, uh, how should I, it's, it's fragmented. And fragmented attention is very ineffective. So when we're doing our exercises, when a leader shows you in practice horror, the exercise, it's your opportunity to train how to train attention, meaning you are observing and you are living through the exercise like it is life and death.
So if you can learn how to observe with your whole body, then you can train it. And the word learn is probably not the best one. You have to, you have to manifest what you see in front of you and you manifest it already inside of you as you're watching what's being shown to you, where everything matters. Everything matters. So the way that you look is going to be the way that you're going to do. The way that you are observing is the way that you're going to do. And uh, 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 if you had to do it only once and you didn't pay attention enough through your body, through your whole self, then you will uh, do something that is not necessarily optimal. It will still give you some benefit, but you can do more. You can train more, you can extract more. And uh, we always say that training here in practice core needs to go into your life. So you train attention here. Remember, attention requires all components. It requires your physical structure, the correct organization of your physical structure. It requires your intent, intent, and it requires your um, your uh, desire to learn or desire to repeat. So in our Western society, uh, uh, when people are showing an exercise or an activity, we first say, oh, let me understand first. Let me understand. I'm going to ask you the question how it's done so I can understand. But understanding is not manifestation. It's not a concept of phenomena where you are it. So understanding on intellectual level is a subset, subset of ability to manifest. And unfortunately, a lot of our tests, a lot of our tests are related to multiple choices, right? We do a lot of it that says, do I understand? Like our multiple choice questions are, do you have a theory? It doesn't necessarily says, can you prove it? Can you recalculate the formula? Can you recalculate the theory so you can manifest your knowledge? So, and it's getting even more critical because the speed of life is too fast. The expectations are too fast. The desire of immediate feedback immediate results are very fast AI coming in. So it's meaning uh, how do we as people don't burn the attention that we have for a day? How do we uh, don't exhaust the resource of attention in the first hour of our, um, of our work day? How do you extract that attention capabilities for your entire day? And then if you want to move up in corporate world, how do you split that attention across multiple phases of various projects and deliverables? And you don't forget, we also, we only work supposedly eight to 10 hours a day, right? you still have to uh, retain enough attention for your day-to-day -day activity, for your relationships, for your parenting, for your schooling, for your uh, social life of having fun, having, you know, some level of fun and social engagement and so on. So training of attention becomes one of the most priceless things that we can train. It's not about uh, making your muscles look great. Uh, maybe at certain age it is, where you are in your lifestyle, right? It's not about uh, extreme amount of miles that you can run. Because you're not running every day for your living, right? There is a discipline in those activities that 
uh, uh, that can be transferred if there is an understanding of purpose. But how do you train attention uh, becomes a becomes a a, a jewel in uh, in a rough because it gives many benefits to your 360 degrees life. So if you have time to train, and most of us have limited time to train during the day, because if people would train, we would not have obesity in the same degree as we have now, right? We would not have the uh, some mental burnout that a society is going through you would be able to train something that makes a difference so to train attention uh, first attention resides in your in your body so uh, training attention without your body is impossible attention your human attention just like an animal attention it uses it utilizes your whole system your physical structure your nervous system your emotions right and all of your senses all of your instincts are all play a role in attention so just reading about attention you might get an idea of benefits of attention but can you manifest it in real life where it, when it matters right where it matters with open eyes when you are working with the people uh, for the people or for whatever your objective is so hearing about attention from uh, places like TEDx or or um, mm, uh, some other online uh, gurus or it, it still does not manifest the stuff on you because it, it, it might activate emotional context but it doesn't activate your body or your intellect going to a gym to release tension, as they say, release stress, uh, uh, a recommendation of 30 minutes exercises, uh, uh, like walking or supposedly running or swimming or doing, uh, what is this, HIIT uh, cardiovascular exercises, still doesn't train your attention. But when you're going to wake up tomorrow morning uh, and it's time for you to be part, uh, to be part of some sort of uh, business activity, uh, social activity, and so on, you will be relying on your attention. Not necessarily if you walk two miles or five miles. Not necessarily if you watched uh, um, uh, one of those documentaries or a guru on uh, online, right? Not necessarily uh, if you done your meditation with closed eyes, and not necessarily right if you read one of the self-help books. You'll be relying on your ability to to be in attention and expand the attention. Um, so what we're gonna do as we go and do our physical exercises as we go and do our physical exercises when you look at exercise you are training your own self-starter attention not because someone tells you pay attention you have to start somewhere with all the minuses and pluses that you have remember when you're paying attention in our training and our exercise you are already in a different pose you're in a different uh, frame right physically already uh, you're already in a different intent now you just need to figure out what you train 